This is Gallagher123123, and in this video, we have another Apex tutorial. Haven't done one of these in a while. And in this one, we are going to look at how to add a Gmail account, which is, you know, the famous Google email service. Now this is useful if you want to send and receive from it on your Apex using Keymail. Um, and if there's time, I'll sh sort of show you how to use it, email, for some basic tasks. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to turn on the Apex. Main menu. Okay, so we're now at the main menu. What you want to do is press E for email. That's dots 1, 5. Email menu. Or press the letter E if you have a QT. Press your space bar now, so we're in, it says Keymail Menu. Press your space bar. Write an email. There's write an email. Read email. Read email. Send and receive email. Send and receive. Set up options. Oh. And set up options. End of menu. And we want to go to set up options. Set up options. Oh. You can also press O to get there. So I'll now press enter. Keymail set up menu. And now, so it says Keymail set up menu. Press space directory of email accounts. until you hear directory of email accounts, which is what we just heard. Now, quickly, I'll just show you what else is here. Receive options. Address list. Free database space. End of menu. Emails. Directory of email accounts. We're only going to look at directory of email accounts and possibly receive options. Receive options in this one. Directory of email accounts. Okay. So press enter on directory of email accounts. Directory of email accounts menu. Now you're in the menu where we can go to add an account. Add an account. And that happens to be the first option when we press space. Look up an account. So I'll show you this add, look up. End of menu. And end. Add an account. So we want to add an account. So to do that, we press the enter key. Entry list for directory of email accounts. And we can just press space to go to the first field. Account name. Now you can give this, like, this is like a, an account description field. So you can call this, I'm going to be calling this one school. This is my school account I'm adding. So I'll type in school. Let's make sure that's right. Yeah, that seems right. Okay. Press enter. Now, when you're done typing it, you press enter. School, username, computer braille is required. I am going to mute the speech, and I'll type in... Speech on request. Now, this is pretty much your email address that they want here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, when it comes time for the at sign, you want to do a U chord, which means, you know, doing a U with the space bar, pressing hold pressing the letter U and pressing space at the same time and then a dot four that will get you your at sign or I'll unmute the speech when I come to that so let me just type in this okay let me just make sure that's right alright the rest of it is fine My speech is back on. Now I'm going to do U chord. Cap. And it says cap. And now I'm going to press dot four. Galagher show that. Just ignore that. Um, I forgot about that. Okay. Now I'm going to put gmail.com. Mail period. And I'm going to press enter. Com. Password. Computer braille is required. Now, it should only say stars, so I shouldn't have to... Oh, okay. Mute my speech, I didn't realize that. Alright. Just to make sure that's right. Alright, unmute the speech. Speech on. And now I'll press enter. Now, now it just wants to know your name. You know what? Big deal. 
I'm just gonna type this in. Okay, so it's being typed in. Now where it wants the email address. This is pretty standard. Um, now again, I'm gonna mute speech, on request. speech and type this. Just gonna read that. Oh. Hold on one second. Speech on the request. Oops. Ah. Speech second or pop server. Computer braille is required. Okay. Now here's the stuff you really need to pay attention to. Pop server. For a Gmail account, the pop server is pop, P-O-P, -P, dot, which is 46, gmail, dot com. So I'll type that. Pop period. Grab one. Oops. One. Mail period. So I put in pop dot gmail dot com. Com. Secure connection for POP server, currently no. And it's asking if we want a secure connection to the POP server. For a Gmail account, you need to say yes. So press the letter Y, dots, one, three, four, five, six. Um, hey, Pax? Hello? Alright. Y, yeah. SMTP server, computer braille is required. So... This one is very similar to the pop server. It's smtp.gmail.com. SMTP period. Mail period. And now press enter. Com. Secure connection for SMTP server. Currently no. And again, for secure connection, we need to choose yes. Y. Press y SMTP enter. authentication required. Currently no. And then SMT auth authentication required again. Well, yeah, we need to say yes. So press Y and enter. Y. Pop port. Currently 110. And now it's asking for the pop port. Now this you have to type 995. And you can do that just regular number sign. Number sign. Nine, nine, five. Let's do that literary braille. No computer braille needed here. SMTP port currently twenty five. Now it wants the SMTP port. You need to choose or type four six five. Number sign four. So I'll do four six, six five. five. End of list. Okay. Now, what we can go ahead and do. Let's do an E chord. Exit. Add this record. Now, if you want to lose all your hard work, I encourage you to press N. But because we want to save this. Facebook. Facebook. Eric K. added a photo. Because we want to save this. Viewfinder. Image. We're gonna press Y. Yes. Record added. Directory of email accounts menu. And now we're gonna do an E chord again. Exit. Email setup menu. Directory of email accounts. Now I just want to quickly show you. Now we're back in our little settings menu. I want to quickly show you. Let me just check my time. Viewfinder. Stop recording video. Viewfinder. Zero. Nine. Forty one. All right. We still have about six minutes. Perfect. So we can quickly test the account, or at least download an email from it. All right. So quickly, receive I want options. to show you what's in the receive options. Email receive options setup list. That's like only one thing. 
Delete email from server after receiving. Currently no. By default, that is set to yes, but I've changed it to no on my end. Now, you can make the pop port work better on the, or the pop server work better with the Apex on Gmail's website. Um, in a future video, we'll have a look at how that works. Something you do from your computer, so I'll help you with that in maybe my next video. Okay. Size limit for automatic download of email, currently 50k. Oh, I forgot about that one. I don't, that like has a, has a size limit. End of list. And it will just tell you that when you reach that. Um. Exit. Email setup men. Exit. Email menu. Okay, so now we're going to go to read email. Read email. So press space to get to read email. Read from which folder? And press space until we hear inbox. Inbox. Check for new email. And it's asking if we want to check for new email. We do, so press Y. Um. Yes. The operation completed successfully. What? The operation uh -oh. completed successfully. The operation completed successfully. The operation completed successfully. The operation com That was a little wee bit weird. There are twenty one email on the server. Whoa. Checking for new email. Well these are receiving four. Receiving five. Receiving six. Receiving eight. Receiving ten. These are downloading. Receiving away. twelve. Receiving fifteen. Receiving eighteen. Receiving twenty. Finished receiving. There are twenty one new email. Entering in box. Physics homework. Whoa. From to date sent Friday, twenty three May twenty fourteen, thirteen forty one okay, and forty five well. seconds zero zero zero. So we can just hit enter document. and that reads it. Hi. Um so that is how you set up a Gmail account. I don't know what that little glitch was a second ago. But thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.